Sodium bicarbonate, aka baking soda, is one of those essential pool chemicals that every owner should keep on hand. But what does it do and how much should you add? Find out in this video. Hi there, I'm Louis from Pool Advisor and this video is all about sodium bicarbonate in swimming pools. Sodium bicarbonate is just the chemical name for baking soda um, and it's primarily used in swimming pools to raise alkalinity. It's actually quite a handy chemical because firstly, it's very cheap. Secondly, it's easy to get a hold of. And thirdly, it will increase your alkalinity without um, having much effect on the pH, unlike some other chemicals like soda ash. Sodium bicarbonate is adding the bicarbonate form of alkalinity to your water, which means that it has a natural pH of about 8.3, um, which isn't, isn't very high and isn't, isn't too far from where our pool water normally sits. This is unlike soda ash, which has a much, much higher natural pH. If your, your pool water actually had a pH of greater than 8.3, adding baking soda to your water would actually lower your pool's pH, which is quite interesting. For most people though, add, adding uh, if your pH is about 7.5 or so, or in the sevens and you, and you add baking soda, you'll see a very small increase in your pH, um, but still a nice increase in your alkalinity. So yeah, it's a very useful chemical for that reason. So how much baking soda should you add to your pool? Well, that depends on quite a few different factors, including your pool volume, your current pH, your current alkalinity, and the target alkalinity. That's the final alkalinity that you want your pool water to be at. Um, so considering all that, it's quite difficult to, to tell you exactly how much you should add to your pool, as it depends on your circumstances. And for this reason, I've made a calculator, which helps you work out exactly how much baking soda you should add to your pool. Um, so we'll take a look at that right now. So here is the calculator over at pooladvisor.com.au and there'll be a link to this in the description below. So please feel free to check it out. You scroll down here and basically the first thing you want to do is enter your pool volume in liters. So say you had a uh, 60,000 liter pool, you'd simply type that in there, type your current pH in, say you had a pH of 7.3, your current alkalinity concentration was uh, say 60, and you wanted to lift that up to 80, for example. Type that in, and then it would tell you that you need an addition of exactly 1.2 kilograms of pure alkalinity. But our product, um, so our baking soda, isn't gonna actually contain pure alkalinity. So we click here to say that we're using baking soda, and then we tell it the active ingredient concentration in our product. And this is usually pretty high for baking soda, and you'll be able to find that on the, um, on, on the packaging for the product. If, for example, that was, say, 95%, you could type that in there and then that would tell us this is the concentration of actual baking soda in this product and but remembering that baking soda is not pure alkalinity itself so the calculator does a few more calculations and tells us that we would need to add exactly 2.1 kilograms of sodium bicarbonate to um, achieve a final alkalinity of 80 ppm and in the process this would actually lift our ph from a current level of 7.3 up to a final level of 7.5, which is pretty useful to know. And you can basically adjust all of these numbers here and that, um, for example, if this was 70, you can see that we now need to only add 1.1 kilograms of the product. And because we're adding less, um, the pH only goes up to 7.4 rather than 7.3. And yet you can tweak all these numbers to suit your exact pool, um, your, your pool dimensions, your volume, and your, your water chemistry, and it will tell you um, how much you need to add which is really useful. And, and of course it's free. So yeah, please feel free to check it out. So that's all there is to it. If this video has helped you at all, please comment and let me know what you thought about it. Um, if, did I miss anything? Is there anything else you wanted, you wanted me to include? Do you have a topic for another video you'd like me to make? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching.